everybody, welcome to Mr. Otter's studio. Today we are going to draw a skull using pencil. So I have this skull and I think it's great to start by drawing skulls. If you want to learn how to draw the human figure, this is a great thing. These are the supplies that you need. You need some paper and I'm using Bristol paper to draw on, but you can use whatever paper you want. And you need pencils. I'm going to be using a pencil set for this. If you've just started drawing, here is a good tip. So these are going in sizes from HB all the way to 8B. HB is going to be the lightest, hardest lead. 8B is going to be the softest, darkest lead. So if you're new to pencils, that's how it works. When we start drawing, we're gonna draw with the lightest, which I like to use like a 3H, but all I have is an HB, so that will work. If you just have one pencil, use it. That will be totally fine for this tutorial. So you need paper, a pencil, or a set of pencils, an eraser, and I'm using a paper stump. Let's get started. So we're gonna start drawing. Let me grab my lightest pencil, which is going to be my HB pencil. We're going to draw a box in the middle of our paper. So I'm just coming a little bit over to the edges. Also, draw this part really lightly. I'm going to be drawing a little bit darker so you can see it. So we're basically just drawing like a frame around our paper. And then what we're going to do is divide this shape into three parts. So to divide it into three, I just think there's a stripe across the middle. So draw one line, two lines, and this line might be a little bit lower, but we're basically just dividing it into three. Then we're going to draw a line right down the middle of our paper. So we divide our paper into three and then we divide it in half this way. Draw a circle in this half and then we're gonna draw the bottom part of the chin or the mandible down here. So draw a circle in the top part. And then in the bottom part, we're gonna come in from the side a little bit, draw a line straight down, and then we're going to bring it down again to this area right here. So we're kind of creating this little box. This is the mandible. This is gonna be the chin or this part right here that kind of detaches. Our circle is actually gonna come down all the way to this line. This is going to curve right here and it's gonna come down and form the upper part of the jaw. Let's just make these two lines here. So we're gonna make this skinnier and this skinnier. And then we're going to come down at an angle, kind of like we're following this line, and then straight across. Now we're going to draw this top part in. We're coming straight down from the circle and curving over. And then what we're going to do is curve it so it comes around this and then it's gonna drop down about right here. And then we're just going to draw a straight line across like that. So this is going to be where our teeth are. In this middle area, this middle section right here, divide it in half. And this is where the nose is going to be. It's gonna fit right in this area right here. Draw an upside down heart coming from that middle shape. And the eyes aren't going to come all the way to the top of the shape. They're coming a little bit under. And first, let's just draw how far over it comes. The beginning of the eye lines up with about the side of the nose. And then it's going to come, it lines almost up with this part of the jaw. So you can just draw a line straight up through. This is the area that my eyes will fit in. Curve this line down. And then I'm just gonna draw almost like a square shape that's getting a little bit bigger. And it's going to come below this halfway line. We're just going to draw two squares going out and then we're just rounding them off just a little bit. Once we have these eyes drawn in, then we're going to come out to the side of this, I'm just gonna call it the cheekbone, and it's going to come out and it's gonna curve in and come along the side of the eye. And let's just kind of come up a little bit above it. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this jaw. And I'm just coming right along the side of this eye. I'm going to erase some of these lines so that you can see the skull a little bit better. Now, let's just work on the top of the skull. So the top of the skull is going to be a little bit wider than we have drawn it here. It's not really coming out, it's coming straight up and over. Once you've drawn these parts in, it's pretty easy to draw the skull because we have the main shapes. This part of the nose is a little bit thick, so I'm just gonna make it a little bit thicker. And then in here, we wanna draw the teeth. So I'm just gonna show you an easy way to draw the teeth. What I like to do is just draw the six front teeth first, and then you can deal with the rest of the teeth. The top teeth come a little bit lower, so I'm just going to draw a kind of a curved line right here, indicating that's where my top teeth are going to come down to. So I'm just gonna divide it into six right now, just with my pencil. So the Middle section is going to be the biggest. These second teeth, so I'm just gonna divide it into four, five, and then I'm just gonna put some lines back here. And the bottom ones aren't really gonna line up. Just draw curves along the top of these little bumps. And then you're just going to draw the individual teeth coming down. And some of the teeth will overlap. Some teeth, like this third one over, is a little bit of a different shape. Then underneath, the teeth are way smaller. Erase out those lines, and we'll make these ones just a little bit smaller. So one, two, three, four, and then we're just five. Once you get to six, you really can't see the teeth that are behind. They're kind of tucked behind it. So we're just gonna draw those curves underneath, and then just draw the teeth on top. There is a little triangle up in the top right here. And I'm gonna change the shape of my chin. Right now you can just look at it. You can make it a little bit more rounder, a little bit more square. There are these little notches. I don't even know what these are, but right here, coming down from the eye, there are these holes. They're just these little details that'll just add a little bit, and there's two 
just down in here. So I'm just drawing these little curves in. So now take your eraser, erase the box, erase any lines we don't need, and use your pencil to kind of draw some back in that got erased. I like to start dark to light with my shading. And so let's think about the darkest parts of the skull and we're actually gonna draw some of them in. In here, there's going to be just a little moon, a little part of a moon that's coming out into the eye and that's gonna be totally dark. And there's another little one that's kinda gonna be coming up in here. So now what we're going to do is shade in the darker areas, draw a line straight down. This is going to be the dark area back there and it's going to come behind these teeth. And then there is part of the skull that we can see here. So we're just gonna draw a little bump that's coming up behind this. And then there is a shape back here also that will be shaded. Grab your darkest pencil or just use your pencil that you have. And what we're going to do is shade in the darkest areas, this little moon that's in the eye. And also I would definitely add the dark shadow around the top of the eye. And just take your darker pencil and just go ahead and fill in that whole shape. Just apply medium pressure. And then inside the nose, I'm just gonna draw some curves on the edge here with a little bump in it. And this is all going to be dark inside, but I'm leaving that middle part kind of light. So it just looks like a heart with two little bumps on the sides. And then I'm going to lightly shade over that middle part. Definitely bring that line up over the top and lightly go over these sides. And some bones are cracked a little bit and they have just a little like indent on the top. Let's just go ahead and draw this in so you can kind of see this line a little bit better. I'm just gonna draw an indication right here because there's going to be a shadow underneath that line. And then with the teeth, what we're going to do is just add a little bit of shading in these areas in between. So it's almost like I'm just filling in these little triangles. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the bottom teeth. We're just gonna add some shadows in these little triangle areas and you can bring the line up. And then let's go ahead and fill in these little triangles. And then we're going to shade in this back area right here. And then in the chin, remember this comes line comes straight down, but there's going to be a shadow back here. And then we wanna just add a little bit of shadow behind this, add some shadows around this shape. And now we're gonna work on adding a few shadows in the jaw. So this line comes down and there is a little bit of a shadow coming down from this shape. And there's a little bit of shadow underneath. So I'm just using the edge of my pencil to do this part. Anywhere we come between a tooth, we wanna just use the edge of our pencil and I'm just gonna draw a line down, but I'm almost drawing it all towards the chin. And I'm gonna do the same thing with these upper teeth. Once you have those in, let's go ahead and shade in this little area around the nose. We're gonna need just a little bit of a shadow in here. And there's going to be shading around these edges as well. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of shadow around the top of my skull. So I'm kind of just going around the edges. Now we have the basic shapes and the basic shadows. And now we are going to do the technique where we use our paper stump. Take your paper stump and we're going to start in the dark area. So I'm gonna use this side for the dark areas, this side for my light areas. You're just gonna go in there and you're gonna start blending those colors together. Try not to touch your paper because the oils from your hands can cause problems inside the nose. Notice I'm shading over this, but I'm leaving it a little bit lighter at the bottom. I'm gonna shade this back area in. I think of this as like I'm drawing with it. Now the next thing we wanna do are the next darkest shadows. So I'm gonna still use this side of this and I'm just gonna shade in this area underneath and you can kind of bring it the shadow over. So we're just doing these little triangles over here, but then I'm coming up and over onto the side of this cheekbone area. Come around the eye, add a little bit of shading in here. Come behind here and then we're just gonna shade up and around. There is a shadow up here and I'm just gonna come in my dark area and then I'm just gonna put this shadow in. So I'm using this to draw and now let's work on the teeth. So we wanna make these teeth actually look like they're round. So I'm just going to come around each one of them. So I'm just basically using my paper stump to add these shadows around each one of these teeth. So now let's go ahead and add the shadows in here that are coming up. So remember, we're just coming towards the nose from each one of these teeth. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom, except we're gonna angle these ones towards the chin. And then let's add these shadows on this mandible area and underneath. And it's definitely gonna be more shaded right here because this is behind. All right, now we've shaded it some. Now we need to come back in and I'm just going to be using my 6B again to come in and add a few more of these details. We need to make sure that we know that this shape is coming in front. When you're using these paper stumps, it will erase some of your dark lines. So make sure you come back in and put some of that detail back in your drawing. So I'm just coming around the teeth and adding that definition back in. And the bottom of the chin, I feel like it definitely needs a little bit more of a shadow down here. So once you put your shadows on the bottom of the chin, just use your blender stump to kind of add this like this W that's underneath. And then you can also add these notches that I just added here. So just make a little curve and then just use your blender stump to blend it out like this. So it doesn't look like a C that's drawn on there, but it looks like a hole. Now I'm gonna use my 6B to just come around the edges. And also I can add some more shading and you can add cracks at this point, any other details that you wanna add. 
You could make the background completely black. You can use your eraser to erase some things out. Also, if you have some highlights on here that got drawn over, just grab your eraser and you can put some of those back in. I almost think of it as like drawing with your eraser. And that's it. So that is the basic way to draw a skull. So now you need to think of something you want to do with it. I thought it would be fun to draw some flowers, add some different things to this, or even paint the skull so that it looks like a day of the dead type skull with the different, or a sugar skull with the different decorations on. Put a piece of tracing paper over this and draw a face over the top of it using these proportions and see how it comes out. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you have a happy Halloween. If you're celebrating that, you might be watching this and it's like the middle of the summer, <laughs> so it won't be Halloween. Also, I'd love to see your skull drawings. Go ahead and post them to Instagram using Mr. Otter Studio or Mr. Otter Art Studio. Have a wonderful day and we will see you around on YouTube.